Hey, good morning, everyone. It's been a while since I did a teaching video. I'm really excited. We just published a paper in the Aesthetic Surgery Journal about parathyroid hormone and bariatric surgery. Doesn't sound too exciting, except that it is. So when people undergo bariatric surgery, the most common of which is a banded surgery or a gastric sleeve, what happens is, is that their ability to absorb calcium and vitamin D is severely diminished in their gut and not absorbing calcium and vitamin D. And here's what happens. Everybody knows about the thyroid gland, but what most people don't know is that around the thyroid gland are four little glands called the parathyroid gland or PTH hormone. That's what, that's what they emit. When the parathyroid glands detect low calcium, they send out parathyroid hormone. And what does that do? That causes all kinds of problems. It causes symptoms of depression, anxiety, loss of appetite, kidney stones, muscle weakness, or nausea, or no symptoms at all. What's really dangerous about this is that if it persists for several years, high PTH, it can cause leaching of calcium from your bones. So when you have bariatric surgery, you're not absorbing calcium or vitamin D, your parathyroid levels go up. You may or may not have symptoms, but when your parathyroid levels go up, it pulls the calcium you need to maintain your calcium levels from your bones. When we did our study, we found out amongst 19 patients undergoing body surgery for excess skin after major weight loss, 31% of our patients had elevated, and sometimes significantly elevated, parathyroid hormone. All this is meant to say that plastic surgeons really need to be measuring PTH levels because we're the ones that see these patients. Also, if you're a bariatric patient, you have to make sure you're on calcium and vitamin D supplementation. So talk to your, para, your, your bariatric surgeon or your primary care doctor about how much you need to take. And uh, I hope this has uh, been helpful for you.